stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i appreciate you guys a whole lot so today i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a boat neck design on a a pad on a dress so that's what's literally what we're going to be doing and you can see i have two um, basic patterns here this is a basic bodies with the shoulder that and then the the waist that you can actually convert this to a princess that and bust here you can convert it also to a regular shoulder that bust here and then here i have another pattern here that has the regular waist that so i'm just going to because i want the illustration normally because i want the illustration to be very obvious that's as i'm going to be drafting the neckline i'm going to be making use of this because this will have lots of it's very busy i'll put it that way so i'm just showing you so when you want to in case you want to use this pattern you can also make use of this and kind of pattern also so we're going to be making use of this so i'll show you how to draft it and then we'll, i'll show you how to actually stitch stitch it also in case you are new to my channel you're highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please subscribe like my video share my video with all of your friends and soulmates and then you can also send me um, photographs of what you have done from my tutorial they have been helpful you can send them to me on instagram at stylish niger or facebook sewing group stylish niger and then you can also follow our page on facebook stylish niger all of the handles are just stylish niger just search on pinterest stylish niger instagram stylish niger and then you could start following and be getting more illustrations notification okay so let's just get started if you want to register for my online classes so you could see my number scrolling through the screen you can send me a message also on whatsapp and then i'll send you the details of the available classes that we actually have going on currently so it's like i said it is really simple and easy so let's just get started so for this kind of bust here if you are going to be uh, cutting from the picture that i showed you earlier for this kind what you would do you first of all take the neckline so you could let's measure out the boat neckline out first so my shoulder measurement is actually seven inches so for this i could do and since it is a wide neckline i could do four inches or 4.5 i think four inches is just ideal and then from this point so this is like my four inches from this point i'm just going to measure how deep i want the top part of the neckline to be so i think i will do 1.5 so i'm just going to use uh, my dotted lines just to mark it like this for you to see and then i will blend it up with my curve okay so that's the first neckline that's the one on top and then the next neckline that we're going to add i'm going to add the sweetheart neckline this you can actually do a normal round neckline that's for the down part depends on the pattern that you want to do so i'm going to do a a sweetheart neckline so for this my this is my chest line so what i'm going to do i'm going to come i'm going to use um about six inches so this is six inches here so this six inches is going to serve as my my sweetheart neckline so from this point like this now this is my this is where the width of my neckline is going to be so what i'm going to do for my sweetheart neckline i'm going to come up depends on how deep or how low you want it to be so for this i'm okay let me just okay so I'm just going to back flip it just to create my to create my sweetheart neckline in case you don't know how to create a sweetheart neckline I have a video of it. it's a very a more detailed one it is really simple so all you you are going to do from this point you are just going to like back flip it and then you curve it up to where the, the width of the neckline is so you see what I have here I'm just going to place my pattern curve like this and then I will I will create a curve like a curve like this into that point so it's really simple and then from this from this part like this now you can just you can just blend it in like this so that's just that's just like a very simple 
way of doing this and then you blend so the next thing the next thing i'm going to do now you are going to create the depth of the keyhole so from this point you know i actually use six inches so in case you feel that six inches is too small you can deepen it you can even take it as much as your your chest line so from this point now i'm just going to mark about two inches or 2.5 so that's going to be the width of my keyhole so okay this is 2.5 let's do 2.5 so i'm going to mark the 2.5 like this and then this is my 2.5 here and then from this point i'm going to check the midpoint of my armhole this is actually the midpoint of my armhole so from this point i could come down depends on how deep curvy i want it to be i could come down by to about one inch or about 1.5 inch and then from this point i'm just going to take my pattern curve this way so that is why for this you need you are going to need curves so to make to help you define what you are doing you're just going to mark it like this into the arm hole point so you see it is really simple and easy so now let's cut out and see what we have so i'm just going to cut out the yoke first the first thing first you cut out the yoke this is going to be the yoke so i'm just going to, to like shade it for you so you know what we are doing you cut out the yoke note when cutting out the yoke this neckline point you are not going to cut it this point like this we are just using it as a guide for us to to be able to achieve our sweetheart neckline so you cut out the yoke like this into your arm hole point and then you cut so this is going to be our yoke and then the next thing we're going to cut out now i'm going to cut out my body And then I'll cut out the neckline from this point. So I'm going to blend this part. It's a little bit too high. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to like blend it a little bit like this. And then I'll I'll close up my dart. doing this before I transfer to my fabric okay I'm going to open it up so you see what I actually have here and then you see our yoke you see the armhole point let me mark it for you to see the armhole point you see these are the ample points so once you take your yoke place like this you see how beautiful it is looking like what we have what we actually have on the picture so the next thing now we're going to cut out this yoke and then cut this out but when we're cutting this yoke i'm going to add as much as one inch to the edges why i'm going to add as much as one inch because i'm going to be I'm going to double this yoke and then we'll stitch and then we're going to use it do it we're going to add it to our to this down part of our tube it's going to be added we're going to top stitch yeah that's just like the right word to use we're going to add it as a top stitch so you see how beautiful it is looking you're going to top stitch it if you feel that this part is too deep you can just work on your pattern so now let's let's cut this off like i said i'll add one inch around this on my fabric so i'm going to cut this out and then cut this on my body so i'll come back and show you okay so i finished uh, cutting uh, my my bodies and then this is the the part that i'm going to use for the the yoke so i'll cut out two pieces of this and then cut out the lining for this so i'm going to go and turn all of them so for this one i'm going to turn i'm going to turn it like this on the neckline and then around this part 
so that's where I'm going to turn I'll stitch around here and then turn the neckline so I'll bring it back and show you I'm going to use this fabric to turn it and then so for the back I'm not I'm not cutting the back piece so you, you just do it the regular back your regular back pattern so it's the same and process my emphasis is on the front neckline so let's go and start stitching okay so i finished stitching my body so you see this is the back so like i said just cut out the line in the same so this i finished aligning this other one also so and then you see you're going to stitch around all of your edges because this is a tube so you stitch around and then you are watch after stitching and then you turn you are just going to take the yoke like this and then you are going to place it on top along the armhole point because you see the armhole that's the top part of the tube is is, is closed and torn so that's the essence you place it like this this is now this is the yoke this is the armhole of the yoke you see it's, it's not torn because that's where you are going to fix your sleeve and then you place this on those points like this you just place them on top like this and then with a clean top stitch so that was why i was telling you that you add as much as one inch so that one inch will help to to take care of the top stitching part so after making it like this i'm just going to take it back to my machine and then i'll use a very clean good matching thread i'll just stitch on along this point i'll stitch it i'll get to this point and then from this point i'll stitch and then get to this point so i'm just going to do that now and then bring it back and show you the outcome of it okay so you can see i have finished teaching my keyhole boat neck so you see how it is looking it is looking really beautiful so and uh, this is actually my pattern that i use in case in case you feel that if you want this part that's the gap here if you want it to be um, very big all you have to do is you dip in this part and then dip in this up part also so with that you have a bigger opening here and then if you want it not to be too big you're just going to bring it down also so it's the same process so you could see so this is the way the back is looking like i told you so you see just give it a clean top stitch at this point so you see it is looking good clean and neat all you are going to do is just cut your back piece just the same way and um, you cut out the front with your basic bodies you cut your back and your front together and then this is so the whole process of making the front so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did and then thank you so much i'll see you in my next video you can drop your questions on the comment section so for this i actually used my scrap fabric so it's they actually did not use any particular amount of fabric or yet